All right, everyone. So this is something people are very confused about regarding body position while you're riding around out in the twisty mountain roads at the track, pretty much whenever. So the first thing to keep in mind, you don't need to use body position hardly at all for the public roads. You can if you want to, that's a tool you could use, but it's not really necessary. You can ride around at a really quick pace, very comfortable pace, and not jump around on the bike and do all this body position stuff. Especially if you have a bike that has high ground clearance. Now, if you're on a cruiser like a Harley and you're going quicker pace where the bike is lean enough to actually scrape the floorboards, then you might need a little bit more body position. Um, so then maybe so, but still most of the time you don't really need body position. However, when you do decide to use body position, people are really confused about it. So I'm gonna demonstrate on the bicycle first and then I'll jump on the bike and show you as well. So the first thing is body position, right? So people think about body position, right? And they're like off to the bike like this, their half the butt there is off, off to the inside and they're like going through the corner, right? Perfect. This is how you, like an idea of like something of how you would wanna look mid-turn. Like if someone took a picture of you mid-turn, you'd be like this, you know, with your knee out, full body position, right? However, how you got there, and how you get out of that bio position, that's what really matters. Not the one second picture in the middle of a turn like this, it's how you get there and then how you get out of the turn. That's what really matters. And that's what this video is mainly about. So the first thing, as you're coming up to the corner, right? You're coming up to the corner, move your butt before you get on the brakes. So say I have a right hand turn coming up, so I'm gonna move my butt off to the inside first, watch any race of any professional racer with their dash cam, that's like the butt cam, the butt view. Every single professional racer does it. Half butt cheek goes off first, and then they go up on the brakes. They get their knee out, sometimes they dangle their leg, but they wanna create like a parachute with their body to get as much slowing down as possible, get all that aerodynamics, get the bike to slow down. So they're hard on the brakes, their, their foot is out, whatever, like, like just parachute, slow the bike down, slow the bike down. And they're like this, brake and brake and brake it, and then as they start to tip in, depending on how fast they want the bike to lean, will directly relate to how fast they get their body off to the inside. If it's a really fast turn, like a chicane or a tight turn, they'll be moving their body quickly to get the bike to lean quickly. Quickly. However, if it's a big, long, sweeping turn, before you get to the corner, you're not gonna be up on the brakes and then do this. And just throw your body off to the inside very quickly because you're gonna be telling the bike, I want you to turn now, even though you may not wanna turn for another 50 feet. So however fast you move your body to the inside should mimic how fast you want the bike to lean to go into it. So the timing at which you move your body is very important. And this was explained to me the first time when I went to champ school. I've been there three times already. And the first time I was doing that, I was moving my body very quickly on a lightweight bike. And Nick Einash was like, look man, you, you weigh 200 plus pounds with all your gear and the bike only weighs you know, 300 pounds. So when you move your body and how much you move your body and how fast you move your body, that makes a big damn difference. And I was like, oh, I never really thought of that before. I never, I never heard of that. So that's a good tip. So I started slowing down my movement and I changed how fast I move depending on the type of corner that I'm doing. And that made a big, big difference. So that's what this video is mainly about, the timing at which you move. So if it's a big, long sweep and turn, I might be braking, right? And as the bike tips in, I start to get my body off to the inside. And then maybe eventually, say, say mid-turn, I might be like this, right? Now coming out of the corner, it's the exact opposite. So going into the corner, like you get your body off to the inside, everything's good. Like the bike's kind of following you down into it. But coming out of the corner is the opposite. You want the bike to start to stand up first as you get back on that throttle to get the full throttle coming up out of the corner. So another problem I see people do, so stay in their mid corner like this, their mid corner, and then they go like this. The lean angle stays the same. They get their body back up on top of the bike and then they decide to move the bike up. Bike is priority, get the bike up first. You could either push on the outside grip, counter steer, you get on the throttle, you could do both at the same time. Either way, the bike is the priority. Get the bike out of the corner and then your body follows afterwards. A lot of people, they're going to the corner, then they do this. Then they get back upright, Their whole the bike is still lean. Then they decide to get a whole lot of throttle with the lean angle they have. They could spin up the rear and then all of a sudden it starts to slide, they chop the throttle, ah! And there they go, high side, right? So don't do that. All right, so on the motorcycle, so. You're going down, you're behind the windscreen, you're behind the bubble, you're on the throttle, wee, you're going fast, full body position, right? You feel like practicing, it's all good. Sometimes I do this, I get my full leathers, full body position, knee drag, even on this thing, it's a lot of fun. Just because I feel like doing it, right? So before I get up onto the brakes, butt before brakes, write that down, butt before brakes. So I'm going, move my butt off to the inside first. It's not five seconds beforehand, just right before you brake. It could be a half second, right? So you're going, butt off, half butt off, and then up on the brakes, up on the brakes. 
and you're slowing down, and you're slowing down, right? I got my knee out, half my butt's off, but I'm pretty much upright. I'm not breaking like this. Nobody ever does that ever. Watch any professional racer, nobody ever does that. So if you're going, let me get it back. There we go. So half butt cheeks off, and you go up on the brakes. All this wind, get the thing to slow down, get out of the bubble. Slow, 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 slow. As you start to tip the bike in, right? Maybe your trail breaking off, doesn't really matter, you're going to the corner, then maybe mid-turn you look like this, awesome. Right, your chin, your chest, your hips are all facing towards where you want to be going. Coming out of the corner, you start to stand the bike up first. Bike's the priority. As you accelerate, and get back and out of there. All right, so that's the whole sequence. So you're going, butt first, up on the brakes, right? You're pretty much stripping down. Slow, 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 the bike down, slow, the bike down, slow, the bike down. And as you start to tip it in, then you start to move your body. If it's a slow, big, sweeping turn, then you have to move your body slow off to the inside. You're not going to be doing this. And just throw your body to the inside because you're going to tell the bike, hey, start to go right now. So you have to time your body. Start to move your body a little bit slower in direct relation to the tightness of the corner you have coming up. You see what I'm saying? Now, if it's a right-hand turn followed by a quick left-hand turn, break, 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 you're going into the right-hand turn. Now, you might have to move your body all the way over to the other side to get the thing to go over because the tight chicane. But if it's just one big sweeping wide turn, you don't have to be moving your body really fast, right? And then the main thing is, but well, one of the main things, well, when you start to break, you're pretty much straight up and down. You're not, nobody ever breaks like this. You're not breaking hard like this. How could you? Butt off first, you're going full throttle. Butt first, then up on the brakes. You're pretty much straight up and down. Break, 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 break. You're creating a parachute with your whole body. Hmm, break, 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 break. And as you start to tip the bike in, you start to look through the corner, drop down to the inside and just be nice and relaxed. You don't want to be like this, really stiff mid-turn. Nice, relax, like the bike turn, looking where you want to go, chin, chest, hips, all facing the direction you're going. Coming out of the corner, bike is priority, just to stand it upright, just to get back on that full throttle, and then you can start to sneak your body back onto it using your legs and not using the handlebars to pull yourself back on. Don't use the handlebars to push or pull, the bike could get all wobbly. You're like, oh, there's something wrong with my steering. No, you're pulling on the handlebars too much and not using your legs to climb back on top of the bike like you're supposed to be doing. So. If you're riding around, you're used to doing, you're doing full body position stuff. Next time you go out there, pay a little bit more attention to how quick you're moving your body to the inside and make sure you are moving your butt before you get up on the brakes. It'll help out big time, I guarantee it.